Hello and welcome to another YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing something slightly different than usual. So the topic of today's video is how you can configure your workspace email on your Outlook account. And the topic is of great importance because given the current global condition, almost everyone we know is working remotely and emails are being used greatly. They use a great source of communication when it comes to communicating client data or just communication within the team. And that's why you need not just one, but two strong authentic email servers backing up all of that data because it reduces the chances of you missing out on any of your important emails. So we're going to be using Outlook 2019 to configure the workspace email here. And if you're someone you're using the earlier version of Outlook, so it's okay, the differences are not going to be much. And there's just going to be a slight distinction between this and your version, because most of the time that the configuration uh, Outlook performs, it's very easy, it's very quick, and the process isn't different for the other versions as well. So we're gonna click we're going to get started. We're going to go to the top left corner and click on file. Click on add account. Now add your workspace account here. The workspace email address. And then click on connect. And in the advanced setup section, you can choose which of these you would like to configure your workspace email account with. We're gonna go with IMAP and we're gonna insert the server here. Now, if you don't know about the server yourself, you can ask someone else in your company and you can get the details from them. Or if you are having troubles, you can just look at the end of your email address and the server details will be right there. So in the incoming mail port, we're going to insert the number 993. And in the outgoing mail, we're going to insert the number 465 for the ports. And we're going to click on the drop down right beside encryption method. And we're going to click on SSL slash TLS for both incoming and outgoing mails. Now, if we were to configure this account on POP, we would be inserting the number of 995 here instead of 993. So if you're using POP for this purpose, the process is going to be the same. You're just going to replace the three here with not or with the five. And we're going to click on next. And you're going to insert password of your email account here. And click on connect. And there we go, it's done. It's that easy. So you can use this process to configure your own workspace email on an Outlook account that you might have.